Hello, we are in A Spy in Siberia. We are reading chapter 10, okay? The title is Inside a Strange Laboratory. When their plane landed in the great sandy desert, Fiona's first impression was that it looked like a different planet. The ground was deep orange in some places and blood red in others. The sky was a bright blue and the sun was a huge ball of fire. The temperature was over 40 centigrades. Fiona lived in Texas, which was hot, but not as hot as this. No one could live here, she thought, but it's the perfect place to build a secret laboratory. It's so remote. Using Dr. Nielsen's maps, Fiona heat-seeking binoculars and Fiona's heat-seeking binoculars, they found the lab. It was painted the same color as the sand. The two women stayed close to the ground so they didn't stand out in the landscape. There were plenty of low bushes and areas of dry grass in the landscape and they hid behind these as they moved towards the building. At last, they were close enough to see two armed guards patrolling outside the building. Fiona watched the guards' movements through her binoculars. Fiona didn't have her stun gun anymore, but she knew how to immobilize a person when necessary. Choosing the right moment, she grabbed first one guard and then the other squeezing their necks the way she learned in the academy. It never failed. The men fell, fell to the ground unconscious. Quickly, Fiona found the key cards, attached to their uniforms, and ran to the building. Dr. Nielsen joined her. Great work, she said. Shh, said Fiona, holding her fingers to her lips. She held one of the key cards against a scanner, and the large metal door opened. The two women stepped inside the brightly lit high-tech building. From a high metal observation platform, they could see an underground room which was divided into two parts. One part they saw a laboratory filled with scientific equipment. There were computers and robots making a humming noise as they worked. And on the other side of the room, they saw rows and rows of egg-shaped capsules, exactly like the one Fiona had seen in the cave in Siberia. Looks like Dr. Carlson's been busy, Fiona said in a low voice, silently taking photographs. A man appeared from the other side of the equipment. Both Fiona and Edith looked surprised. It was Eric. Carlson. He had seen them observing the lab from the metal platform above. Edith, is that you? The doctor cried. How did you get here? That's a good question, said somebody else who appeared on the other, from the other side of the room. He had a black beard and a mustache. Fiona recognized him from her internet search. It was Louise. Silva. Furious, Silva took a radio from his belt, shouted into it, security, lock the doors, get to the balcony, we've got intruders. Fiona heard the electric lock click on the door behind them. There was no way back. She ran along the metal balcony, but a large man was running towards her, blocking the way. She recognized him instantly. It was the same man she had shot with her stun gun in Perth. Now he was pointing her stun gun at her. Before Fiona could move out of his way, the man fired at her and she fell to the ground, unconscious. Instantly he picked her up and threw her over his broad shoulder. Bring her down here, shouted Louise Silva. I wanted to have a little talk with her when she's conscious. The man carried Fiona down to the laboratory and took her into a small room away from the scientific equipment. 
It was clear that Luis Silva was well prepared for intruders. The room was equipped with two old-fashioned interrogation chairs with leather straps at the back. They were the only things in the entire room. The man tightened the straps around Fiona's hands and went back to the balcony for Edith. A minute later, Edith he, a minute later, he tied Edith's hand with straps into the second chair. Dr. Carlson watched in terror, too afraid to try to help the women. Okay, so that's, uh, that's chapter 10. Uh, various new words here uh, in this chapter. One of the low bushes, low bushes, low bushes is quite often what you see around here in the countryside. Um, little plants, obviously bigger than grass, um, but it's, it's, it's a bush, and so it grows up like this. A bush, uh, it's not a tree, and it's not grass, it's between, it's between a tree and grass. Uh, bush, low bush, patrolling, patrolling is guarding and walking. So you're walking around something, and you're guarding what you're walking around. You're patrolling something that you're, you're guarding while you're walking. It's a patrol. Uh, squeeze is to take something with your hand and squeeze it. Squeeze. Key cards. Key cards are like keys, but they're cards. Like a credit card, but it opens a door. Okay, or it opens a box. Or a car. Um, humming noise. Mm, that's a humming noise. Mm, leather straps would be like a leather belt or a leather cord, something to hold you tight so you can't get out. Leather straps. Okay. Now we have different activities here. Um, the activities in three, you have to choose the correct one. Uh, for example, who or what do the pronouns in bold refer to? So we have, for example, pronoun these. So these is the pronoun. When it says these in one, does these refer to the formulas, the memory sticks, or the computers? Hmm, good question. I think it refers to the formulas, okay? Um, and it continues with other pronouns like it's, he, 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 he. Uh, this talks about who's, who is the protagonist and what is the challenge, okay? Who is the protagonist? The protagonist is the main character of a story. Um, so who's the, who's the main character of the story? In, in A Spy Siberia. Who's the main character? Is it Dr. Carlson? Is it Fiona? Is it Edith? Is it, is it uh, what's his name? Uh, Silva? Who's the main character? Who's the protagonist? Okay, what's the challenge? What do they need to do? What, how do they need to perform? What's the goal? What's the purpose? What's the challenge? Okay. Then we have other questions like, why did Fiona hesitate? How did Dr. Nielsen find? So these are key question words that you need to pay attention to. Okay? Well, you guys have a good rest of your day. Okay? See you next time.